Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot, and welcome, welcome to the Haunted Mines. This place has... it changed quite a while ago, but you'll see in a sec. First, however, a word from our sponsor. Welcome, foolish heroes, to the Haunted Mines. Here, death reigns eternal. Soon the mines will open, and the terrors within shall awaken. Slay the undead, rest their cursed skulls from the dead. In turn, I will summon forth my mighty bone gallows. They will destroy their enemies' defenses. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a uh, cast of a cast of a game I did. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, Sergeant Hammer on the blue team here. Uh, I'm going to try to ignore it as much as possible. So on the blue team, there is a Rainer, an Arthas, a Vala, Kerrigan, and Sergeant Hammer. On the red team, we've got Lily, we've got Rainer, we've got Nesbio, we've got Kerrigan, and we've got Thrall. All right, and we're getting started here. Now, the Haunted Mines, it just has two lanes, unlike most maps that have three. The third lane is sort of the Mines area, which opens up periodically or gets skulls periodically. So it looks like three of them are coming down here uh, on the bottom for the red team. And, oh wait, big action happening here at the Watchtower. Looks like uh, Vala for the blue team getting away in time. Very good. And we've got three coming in here in the bottom lane, and Kerrigan is on her own for now. Oh, Rainer coming in to join her. They're still a little outnumbered here. What do we got going on up top here? We've got Arthas, and we've got the uh, Sergeant Hammer hero hiding in the bushes there. Sergeant Hammer trying to control the area, I believe. And... Ooh, Let's see here, down in the bottom lane here, it's still a uh, two on three, however at this level it's not as dangerous as it could be. Sergeant Hammer getting a little low on health. Actually no, I missed. I apologize, it is in fact a three on three now in the bottom lane. So the numbers have equalized here, and Sergeant Hammer, oh, Sergeant Hammer goes down in the top lane, so... The red team now has a slight, slight advantage in the top lane. It's still just level two, but... And that makes the respawn times really short. As you can see, Sergeant Hammer is now back on the field. And a little bit of, uh, little bit of fisticuffs going on down here. Kerrigan just missing the uh, grab. Very good. Bunny there. Rainer getting a little low on health. Might want to find a healing fountain or hearth back to the altar. But for the time being, he uh, actually all three of those heroes there are just getting close to half health. What's going on up here? Uh, Arthas here taking a bit of a beating. Sergeant Hammer providing that range damage, and the mines are in fact open now. So Arthas did go down now. Uh, however, we do have the three heroes from the blue team there starting to collect skulls. So they are in the lead, and it looks like that lead may just increase. The rest of the red team is now down in the mines. Looks like everybody except for Arthas is in the mines. What have we got here? So far they're uh, avoiding each other in terms of the teams. Probably a good strategy. Red team is getting ahead in the skull count. So, let's see here. Alright, pretty much all the skulls are gone except for the ones that are held by the golem. So there's going to be a big fight here at the golem. What do we got to start up here? Kerrigan and Arthas getting into fisticuffs. Arthas getting low on health. Arthas goes down. Thrall kind of low on health. Lily kind of at half health too. Now, they do not have a hero. Sergeant Hammer down as well. And the blue team is in full retreat. And the rest of the red team is working on that golem. So, oh, Bala down. Vala and Kerrigan down. Rainer just is 
escaping within an inch of his life. Kerrigan very low on health for the red team if she's not careful. She was kind of lucky there. That golem could have actually killed her at that low level of health. And the golems are coming out now. So for the red team, it has 68 skulls. And it has... Uh, and the blue team has 32 skulls. So nearly twice as strong a golem for the red team. So we're going to see how this plays out. Let's take a look. Wybot and... Uh, or Sergeant Hammer. And uh, Arthas working on the top lane still. And eventually they will be combating that golem. And Lily and Rainer. And Rainer for the blue team as well. Coming in. And Thrall. Thrall for the red team coming in. So it's a three on three up here. It is a two on two down here. Just a little bit of uh, dancing around. A little bit of fisticuffs. And it looks like those three red team members are going to try to make a bit of a push with their more powerful golem. So let's see how this plays out. Sergeant Hammer sieging up, pulling back a little bit, trying to do as much DPS to the Golem as possible. And for the blue team, for the bottom lane here rather, Kerrigan working on that Golem along with Nesbio, the Witch Doctor. Thrall also down there. Thrall just trying to uh, cause trouble by the looks of it. Vala very low on health. He's trying to grab, make the grab there, but he doesn't succeed. Blue team's Golem nearly dead. Nearly dead, and that will go down. Red Team's Golem, however, still at 30% health. It's still going relatively strong, down more to 25% health. They've managed to clear out most of this complex, but it looks like the fort may stand. However, these two remaining heroes might still be able to just get it. Bell coming in here, trying to uh, take down that Golem. Thrall also <laughs> all joining them now. And what's going down down here? It looks like Nesbio and Kerrigan trying to take down some of those towers, starting to damage this fort complex. And down did go the fort for the blue team in the top lane here. So, as it stands right now, as you can see by the numbers, blue team has three forts remaining, and the red team still has all four forts remaining. That's about to change in a second here by the looks of it. The blue team's fort nearly at half health in the bottom lane here. Looks like all, looks like four of them, yes, four of the blue team members are there. However, the red team has just grabbed some of those siege giants from the mercenary camps. Are they going to go for the center lane next? Looks like they might. So those mercenaries will actually throw rocks at the uh, gates here and the forts, and they will stay out of range. However, it looks like the Rainer in the blue trunks is cleaning that up. Nazbio. On the red team, however, looks like he's getting some more mercenaries to throw at them. Nope, he's deciding against that. Or, no, he's actually waiting for backup. And the entire red team, one, two, three, four, five, yup, all of them are going to go in there and just lay waste to that mercenary camp. So that means that those brutes, those knights, are coming in there. And you can see the chat for the blue team, because that was uh, the team I played on originally for this. So the red team now going down in that lane. So there is a fort to try to stop those mercenaries, but that fort is still at half health. What have we got going on here? Arthas facing a double team between the red team's Rainer and Lily, and now a triple team, actually. So Arthas very wisely pulling away from that fight. And some some sort of action down here. It looks like the uh, red team, blue team has managed to clean up the red team's mercenaries. And they will keep their fort for the time being. And the mines are going to open in seven seconds. Very good. And, oh, Vala goes down. Looks like Kerrigan's down. Kerrigan's down for the other team, too. So blue team has three heroes. The red team has four. Numbers in terms of uh, levels here. Looks like the uh, red team's starting to get a little bit momentum here. And they did get that other mercenary camp. Sergeant Hammer trying to... Uh, do a little bit with that uh, BFG. However, that just caused a bit of damage. Looks like Sergeant Hammer going to finish those off. Let's take a look at what's going on in the mines here. The red team absolutely dominating, cleaning up in the mines. They've gotten just about every uh, miner skull camp here. So all those dead miners, all those undead miners rather, have been all cleaned out. They've got 70 skulls to the blue team zero. 
And the blue team's Rainer is calling it. He's calling it at the 8.30 minute mark here. And, well, things start to... <laughs> things definitely appear to be snowballing for the red team here. All but one hero is down, Arthas. Arthas not even bothering to go into the mines at this point. Very wise move on his part, actually. There's nothing he can do at this point besides get killed, so he might as well uh, work on some towers, work on some minions, and try to get a little bit of experience back to get that deficit under control. However, Kerrigan for the red team coming in, trying to make the grab on Arthas. Will he make it? Will he get away? Arthas freezing her in place. Arthas not able to mount yet. He really needs to mount and get out of there. However, he will not be able to mount with Kerrigan constantly attacking him. He needs to get like a second and a half of uh, free time before he can get away. And Arthas still doing it. He is a tank. And he is managing to actually gain health there. So Arthas making it away okay. However, the red team pushing their advantage here. Well, rather just letting their golem do the work, actually. Red team Rainer bringing in the Hyperion, dropping his ultimate. And just about... Oh! Blue team's Rainer, very low on health, really needs to get back to that altar right now. And blue team Valor taking out the Rainer. Blue team now has an advantage. They really need to press this advantage if they want to uh, get back in the game because they are now down... Three levels, 15 to 12 for the blue team. So they, even in a two-on-two -two situation, this could get a little bit dangerous here. All right, now, Nesbio and his mercenaries are taking down those towers for the southern lane here. And at the top lane, that golem just got down. However, that fort is at two-thirds health. So that inner fort is kind of low on health. And it looks like Nesbio and Lili and Thrall. Thrall getting really ballsy. He's got balls of steel. And Bunny, oh! And the red team has numbers advantage again. Wybot coming in, trying to get the grab on Thrall and manages to equalize. Excellent. And let's see what this Nesbio character is doing up top here. This crafty little witch doctor. What's he going to try to pull? Looks like he's just uh, going to kill some mercenaries for now. However, down in the bottom lane here, red team has gotten hold of the mercenaries once again. So blue team will have to clean that up immediately or their fort may go down. It still has a fairly high level of health, but those things are definitely a major distraction. And Kerrigan looks like she's going down on the red team. Oh my god, they've got an advantage. It's two heroes left on the red team and four heroes on the blue team. They can press that advantage again. They are catching up in terms of experience, although that might just be... No, they are catching up. Red team is just a hair away from 17. There they go. So they have managed to close the gap. I think at this point, uh, some of the equalizing mechanics are starting to kick in for the blue team there. And let's take a look here. The mines are going to open in about 30 seconds, folks. So, Rainer in the top lane here uh, for the blue team. Trying to clean up some of those uh, little minions there. And those mercenaries for the red team still alive. Val going to take care of those nice and quick. Sergeant Hammer face <laughs> in a showdown against Lili and Rainer. Sergeant Hammer still caught in place there. And down goes Sergeant Hammer. And for Arthas here, it's a two-on-two -two fight here. Nope. Three-on-two fight. And let's see here. How is this going to unfold? Kerrigan's down now, so it is just Bunny. The lone wolf. The lone rainer. That's terrible, I'm sorry guys. But, Bunny there managing to take it on his own there. Managing to at least slow down Nesbio. Meanwhile, Kerrigan going in there, pressing their advantage for the red team. Getting the mercenaries that uh, throw rocks there. The rock throwing giants. The ogres as I call them. And Thrall cleaning house down below there. 
they really are not in much of a hurry because most of the red blue team is dead. So Thrall's just doing this at his own pace, just smashing skulls, just smashing skulls. However, that blue team is back and ooh, Sergeant Hammer caught in the grafts of the corpse wall. Sergeant Hammer low on health, should probably head back to the altar. And three siege giants attacking the core, not attacking the core, attacking the fort. Blue team's Kerrigan trying to take those out, taking them out very handedly. Vala, Vala and Rainer, nope, not going to be a fight there. Three members of the uh, red team down in the mines. And Arthas and Vala, and red team Hyperion goes down. And Arthas needs to get out of there right now. Oh, Arthas goes down. All right, so... Unfortunately, once again, very little point in the blue team going back into the mines by the looks of it. They, I would recommend at this point for them to capture mercenary camps, but they've already been captured and the spawn times are not, well, the bruiser camp is a possibility. The levels are getting tighter. No, the levels are not actually getting tighter. And down goes Sergeant Hammer again. Oh, geez. All right. So Kerrigan very low on health for the red team there. However, every other member of the... Red team very high on health, with the exception of Thrall, who's tanking that uh, giant. And Thrall looks like he's heading back to town. All right, very good. What is not good, however, is the blue team got no skulls. So the blue team got completely shut out there. The red team's golem is as strong as a golem could possibly be, so they need to take that down in a hurry. Their fort is at half health. It's going to go directly for their core after that. And for the red team here, they don't have as much to worry about. Actually, they have very fucking little to worry about by the looks of it. That gate is definitely going to go down, as is that tower, but I do not think there's going to be any serious damage to their core. However, up top here, it looks like that golem is... He is at 75% health, and their fort is down. Sergeant Hammer trying to stop the golem with siege mode. Not being that effective, unfortunately. Rainer also trying to stop it. We've got it down to 70 or 60% health. However, what's the core at? The core still hasn't been affected. Its shields are holding. But its shields are about to collapse and... Oh! Blue Team's Rainer got killed by the Golem's roots. And the core's shields are down. The Golem will now start doing damage. And... Damage will continue. Damage actually going up in a hurry thanks to Red Team's Thrall coming in there and swinging his hammer around, beating it in the face. And Arthas to the rescue. Will he be enough? Uh, it doesn't look like it. And that would be game, folks. All right, let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the scoreboard here. So. What do we have here in terms of the uh, end result? We've got Raynor. He has five takedowns, six deaths for the blue team. Arthas, six takedowns, seven deaths for the blue team. Vala, eight takedowns, seven deaths, so slightly more efficient. Kerrigan, seven kills, seven deaths. And Sergeant Hammer, eight kills and seven deaths. So, how did this work out in terms of damage for the blue team? It looks like Sergeant Hammer had the highest siege damage, not surprising. Raynor actually with the second highest siege damage. Vala third, and Kerrigan. Kerrigan fifth, Arthas fourth. All right, how about hero damage? Slightly more important there. So, first place, Vala. Not surprising, Vala's got a lot of uh, burst DPS, I should say. And uh, so for Sergeant Hammer, second... On that team, and that looks like Rainer's third, Arthas is fourth, and Kerrigan is last. All right, let's take a look at the red team, the victorious team. So, what do we have here? Red team Rainer with the highest kills and the highest hero damage. Looks like Lily with the highest healing. There was in fact no healing whatsoever on the <laughs> on the blue team. They did not have a support class. And then, uh, let's see here, Lili's damage, fairly low, which makes sense, Lili is a healer. We've got Kerrigan on the uh, red team for the highest siege damage, and yes indeed, the second highest hero damage. 
Now she has 17 kills to two deaths. Very, very impressive. And what do we got next here? We've got, looks like Nesbio would be next. He has 13 takedowns and he has hero damage 22,000. And uh, let's see here. Finally, we have Thrall, 17 kills, one death. And he has 18,000 damage. So, very survivable. Not the most damage. A respectable number of kills that he was either there or assisted on. Alrighty. Very good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, cast here. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more like this, please subscribe to my channel. I will try to keep this little thing hidden for next time. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.